welcome our next Ted Light Talk speaker. Good morning to all. Thank you, UX India team, for giving me the opportunity to share my journey uh, at this platform. So uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, like how I've transited from UI UX to uh, a different vertical altogether, like where the trucks are moving onto the roads, the highways, and uh, like sitting into the office and then uh, directly onto the roads and discussing with the truck drivers who even uh, not using the mobile phones or just talking uh, like uh, onto the calls for getting the business done. Uh, so this is something that has been already covered. So like uh, when I started my technical journey, I was a full stack developer and I started coding since my uh, childhood, I would say. And uh, back in 2005, I believe I started with C then uh, uh, ventured into uh, Java, .NET, during a lot of full stack development during my college days. Then uh, uh, doing a lot of projects for college, college uh, peers, management, uh, other stuff. And even like automating the college stuff, which is the registration and other processes. Then I uh, worked with Infosys. Uh, then I uh, got the opportunity to venture into UI UX, like where I was working with uh, T-Mobile and uh, people like that and uh, help them in generating the timelines and other stuff using the HTML5 and CSS3. That was the first step into the journey of user experience and user interface design where I uh, tried to uh, like uh, picture up the thoughts whatever I was having in terms of to the uh, canvas and the wireframes and all. Then uh, while working with that, I always thinking like there is something, the problem into the trucking industry logistics, like whatever we are wearing, whatever we are eating, it is moved by trucks. Is this something that can be done into the trucking industry or this is the problem that I'm facing or like how the thought process is of the trucker is there. So I thought why not to do something uh, into the trucking industry. I started doing a lot of surveys, I'll cover that up. Then uh, while doing uh, or transiting, I always thinking like doing something, not uh, having a business acumen coming from the user interface, technical design, how will I be able to run the business? So that was a lot of the problems. Uh, and like how I can utilize my existing skills in uh, picturing or shaping up the business altogether. So that was the whole idea. So uh, when I talk about uh, UI, UI UX and what I've done in that, it was an amazing journey uh, I've done. I've done a lot of uh, websites for the clients, a lot of wireframes for the clients. I've done a lot of freelancing gigs uh, in UI UX. So uh, I still remember uh, one of the projects that uh, uh, I done during sapient time. That was uh, stuff the client says that they want to uh, give the experience into the website like the way we uh, sh like shuffle our wardrobe by uh, like the hangers and all and they want to give the same experience to the uh, their clients like the visitors who are coming onto the website they are just uh, shift, uh, shuffling towards the uh, clothes whatever they are into the wardrobe. So I thought like I started first of my thought was like is this something which can be done with the help of UI in a 2D frame and uh, can we do it or is it something feasible as well. Uh, but they were very reluctant to get the things done. So I thought like let's try out. Then we started designing, thinking with the team, identifying and we delivered uh, that particular process. And that was a kind of very amazing project to me and uh, amazing design experience to the uh, people. At that time I also uh, started thinking like if this is something that can be done or that can be done for uh, the people who are there, who are educated, why not to do something for the people who are there onto the roads and getting the things done? Can we uh, make their life easy with the help of a website or can we make their life easy with the help of a mobile application? So uh, that is something that is started coming to my mind and I started working or uh, doing lot of surveys onto the ground. Uh, talking with them, uh, connecting with them and identifying the problems uh, out there into the uh, 
uh, ground level, like what they are facing, what's there. So that uh, uh, brings me to identifying all these problems. But the basic problem that I was thinking like is just the booking of a truck or it's just like while, uh, while they are onto the roads, they just not get the return loads. That was something that I was going into my mind. But uh, I remember uh, that was back in 2013, I was there in Azadpur Mandi in Delhi and uh, like being a corporate culture, I was majorly talking in English, having a thought process of having a copy and uh, pen and discussing with the uh, people. And same by the same thought, I went there into Azadpur Mandi somewhere around 1, 1.15 a.m. Uh, because at that time, the loading and unloading happens and these truckers are kind of very free at that time. So there was a, I belongs to Uttar Pradesh, so there was a truck that was coming from Lucknow side of UP and I thought why not to discuss the problems with this guy. This guy was sitting idle into, the, uh, into his cabin. I thought let's discuss what are the problems he is facing and whether I will be able to whatever he is facing. So uh, he was just chilling out in his cabin. I asked him uh, into Hindi only, Sir, you will come to 2 minutes or down, you will talk to 2 He just looked out at me and kind of ignored me at that time. So I thought might be I have done something wrong. And I asked him again, sir, two minutes please niche aye, aapse, aapke hi fayde ki baat hai, aur aapse mere ko baat karne hai. He looked me up and down like this two times. He closed the gate of his cabin and said, sir, mujhe aapse baat nahi karne, aap chale jaye. So I was like, ki, what is something that I have done wrong uh, with this particular guy? Is this something wrong that I have said or like why is feeling offended or of not talking to me? So uh, at the time I was accompanied uh, by my uh, co-founder who was into the business only and uh, doing a lot of trucking stuff. So I asked him like what went wrong? What is something that I have done? So later again we identi he identified another trucker where three, four truckers were sitting into the cabin and he just uh, like ride up the cabin and start discussing with them. And we discuss somewhere around 40-45 minutes with them, uh, good chat with them. And later on, while going back, heading back to our home, I asked him why, like, why, what went wrong, uh, like, during our conversation? What, what was the problem? So he said, like, look out how you are dressing. You are just uh, dressed up like an officer or something, and you are carrying a copy and pen. And now imagine the truck that he was driving. It was an overloaded truck. It was a truck which was uh, over, uh, like, height and the length as well. So he was, he might be thinking that you are a kind of uh, something that he has done wrong onto the road and you are there to chalan him or doing something like that. Then I thought like if I have to do something, then I have to change the experience like the uh, truckers are thinking, like the way they are thinking into the industry, like the way we do into the UI UX industry, the experience of the users, experience of the consumers. That was the kind of stuff I thought like, if I have to do something into the trucking industry, I have to be like them. I have to talk like them. I have to be, uh, they have to think like issue is one of them. Then only I can be able to bring some change. And then only I will be able to identify the problems. Then I started doing lot of surveys, lot of uh, uh, discussing with lot of truck drivers. I met with more than five, 5,000 truckers on my own, identified their problems like what they have done, what they're doing uh, on daily basis. So just uh, booking and loading of the truck is one of the very basic problem what I identified. But the major problem was like, we as people are not treating them with respect in terms of when we talk about a truck driver. Whenever we are going onto the road, we always think, Ye to PK chala raha hoga. Yeah, like the person, he is not giving the uh, side to us whenever we are driving onto highways. We always think like, why they are, uh, taking up too much space onto the road. But we do not uh, think like they are carrying a lot of capacity, a lot, lot of heavy load onto the truck. If they are just going to do over speeding or steep turns, then it can cause to the life of other people as well. Empathy is something that is really missing into the trucking industry. Respect is something that is really missing into the trucking industry at the ground level. Like the actual person, a truck driver, a single fleet owner or a transporter. So that's why we thought like this is something that we have to do. This is something that can be changed. Like we, we 
if we are not doing, someone else will do, but why not we can do this particular stuff? We identified various other problems as well, and we thought like we have to work on all. But after doing all these surveys, uh, still I was working uh, with Sapient at that time. And when I came back, I used to discuss with all these with my managers and colleagues. Definitely that was the kind of extended family to me at that time. And uh, it's like when you discuss a lot of things uh, with a lot of people, it creates a buzz into your mind. Everyone going to make you confused, ki, like this cannot happen, why you are entering into this particular thing, you are already doing a lot of this stuff and you are doing amazing into your uh, current journey. Why you, why you want to change? And like, why you want to change? It's good if you want to change, but why to that particular sector where no one else is focusing? Why you want to focus on to that sector? Even like people who do not talk with respect, even there are a lot of abusive languages and other stuff which is being utilized on day-to-day -day life. You are doing a lot of good stuff, uh, day nine to six job, you are sitting into AC stuff and all. Highways pe ja ke kaam kyon karna hai? So I thought like this is also true. Why, why I want to uh, make my life a kind of a struggling one rather than just uh, doing a, uh, when I can lead a easy life. But I thought like on to the other hand, I was also thinking this is something that needs to be done for the trucker as well. Like if we are uh, having milk on day to day basis, the, that is the guy who is uh, bringing the milk for us. The clothes we are wearing, these are the guys who are taking on daily basis. So, uh, like while we are going to discuss with people, they are going to buzz you up. We have to act. That is something which is important. And while I was discussing with all this stuff, the problem which was very small to me, a transition, it was, it started to see, like I started seeing that problem as a very big, bigger one to me. Like, if I will not be able to make money, if I will not be, if I, I will be a failure, if I will not be able to make their life sustainable. Then I discussed it with my family and all. They were also with the same thought process. But they said, if you believe that you can do, you should take a step ahead. You should go, you should try it out. You, already you are into a uh, different angle altogether. But if you try, if you start learning, you will be able to make the things up. You were not, you were a technical guy, then you entered into the UIX, uh, UX, that was again a different journey for you. Then try out something different also. Might be you will be able to excel or if you fail, you will learn something. That was the uh, whole idea. I thought like, let's take a challenge and uh, enter into the trucking segment. Then uh, while we uh, started doing the things, I. I've done the platform, I've done website and other stuff that was I was al already doing. But bringing it to the market was an, another challenge for me because while you are into the market, while you are doing surveys, everyone is going to welcome you. Everyone is going to treat you with respect. But when you are going to ask money for the same product with them, they are like, we don't need it. We are good to, we are uh, having very good business uh, and we are like very comfortable whatever we are doing. And at that time, back in 2014, internet was not also that cheap. They were having a thought process. If I'm going to utilize your platform, I have to hire someone for a salary, a computer operator, he's going to operate. Why I should hire you? I'm here to make my business better rather than getting the things done. I non-stop attended lot of conferences, lot of learning business skills. Uh, I used to travel a lot. Bangalore was one of the city where I learned a lot about the startup and other journeys in terms of even uh, VC industry as well, like the market capitals, raising money, all these things I learned. But that was really an amazing journey altogether. Uh, the point is like, if you don't have anything which is already you are doing, you can transit, you can learn. Learning is one of the important aspects. Uh, like how UI UX versus trucking industry, uh, like the approach that we have put up. So one of the important thing that I already see into the industry, like they are always carrying the documents for if they have to load, they need to carry the documents. If they have to unload, they have to carry the documents. If they are onto the road, they have to the carry the documents, licenses, permits, renewals, uh, toll copies, uh, then bills, etc. So I thought, why not we change this particular thing? And not only with, 
a, a single stakeholder, which is a transporter and all, but why not with the government as well? So as soon as if you are putting up a truck number, you get each and everything onto the go. So that I thought like, this is something that needs to be changed. But that was not the problem for the truck driver. That was not the problem for the transporter. That was not the problem for the industry as well. But it was the whole experience uh, that needs to be changed. And when we uh, started, came up with a concept that just enter the vehicle number, you will be able to see each and every detail. The whole experience changed the game altogether. And people started paying for that. And we just thought like this is just a thing that will going to make their life easy. And uh, we were not expecting any kind of monetary benefits out of it. But people said like this is something they want to get it done for each and every trucks. And they started referring the product uh, uh, to the next people altogether. So experience is something which we need to change and which is something which is bringing change into user's life. And when it is happening, they are always going to adopt or use the product. That is important. So this is the kind of journey we, uh, like while starting, while I was in a job, I thought a single product that will make my life easy. I'll be having too, my, too much money just building the single product and all and getting the things done. But that didn't happen and that will not happen in any scenario. So you have to do a lot of stuff while you are building a company, building a venture. You, you just don't grow uh, vertically. You need to grow your company horizontally as well. So we started with Trucks with that. that was a single product. Then we started identified lot of other gaps into the industry, which was the tracking. Then we started with a platform called GPS Suvida, uh, with the help of which people can track, people can identify the real time location of the trucks. Then we started uh, with the concept of Fastag Suvida. Uh, like Fastag is everywhere these days, but back in 2017, it was a kind of very new concept for each and everyone. Like, the way toll is deducting into the uh, foreign countries, the similar way that needs to be experienced here in India. So we started with th that thought process. Then I identified like I was always thinking about the truck drivers, why not to do something for them? Then I started with the concept of Ustad because in our industry, no one called a truck driver a driver. Either they called them a pilot or even if we talk about Punjab and other states like Haryana and all, they are always Ustad, Ustad Idharana and all, like that is what they do. And in Ustad, why, what we uh, started doing, we identified the truck drivers who have not done even a single accident or who have helped someone uh, like uh, during the highways or some accidents or something like that. So there were very great stories that came to us, we identified them. And during our first uh, session of Ustad, we just identified few people, giving them one kg of sweet box and a pagli, because pagli is again a greatest honor to them uh, uh, in terms of trucking segment. And they were like, most of the these people were like, Ki, why you are doing this? This is not something that you should do. If we have done something good onto the highways, this should be done by our either by our owner or by the company for which we were driving or or even by government, but why you are doing this? So I always said to them, like, this is something you are already doing for the industry. We are building for the industry. Why not us if someone else is not doing? Then uh, during COVID uh, happens, like we always used to eat a lot of vegetables and all, but this is something we do not uh, go into the background, how it is being transported. But when COVID came, April 2020, there was a whole chakka jam kind of scenario. No truck was moving. And lot of stuff that moves from different uh, states to northern part of the country. And government was like, if it is not happening, how we are going to utilize that? So I thought, like, uh, not only me, but uh, government also, we were discuss discussing with them. So we thought, like, why not to utilize our existing capacities and started providing these truckers a job where we will be transporting all these material from southern part of the country to, to the northern part so that it is not a problem to the consumers also because freight was increased at that time. No one was uh, willing to move because onto the road everyone was uh, uh, having a lot of problems. We transported a lot of uh, these uh, stuff, whatever we were consuming. Then we done for, uh, during the second wave, we have done Arogya Path, 
where we transported a lot of oxygen with the help of uh, cyrogenated containers and all. That is again a specialized kind of truck. And then automation, this is again technical that I <laughs> thought of. So this is, we are present uh, all across the country as of now. So uh, having a network of more than five and a half lakh trucks all together. And uh, like if we talk about uh, the journey UI UX to trucking, it is really awesome. We can do a lot of stuff that we can do. Uh, the only thing that I always remember is like there are a lot of up and down we have seen uh, like into the trucking industry every time it was shaped like demonetization came, GST came, e-way bill came, COVID came. But you just need to stay positive and everything will happen. That's, that's a lot on my side. Thank you. Thank you, your lovely audience.